magnetic moment of a spherical shell. Determine the magnetic moment mu of a spherical shell with radius capital R and uniform charge Q, rotating with angular speed omega equals omega k hat, and use the following steps. Part A. Consider a coordinate system with the origin at the center of the sphere. Parameterize each latitude on the sphere with the angle theta measured from the positive z-axis. There is a circular current loop at each value of theta for theta between 0 and pi. What is the radius of the loop at latitude theta? So uh, we have at each latitude here for this value of theta that we make with the positive z axis a circular current loop and you can see because the radius of the sphere is capital r and it makes angle theta with respect to the z axis its projection onto the z axis is r cosine theta its projection onto the uh, circle onto this circle here will be then capital r sine theta so that we can see is the radius of this uh, circle. So that's our answer for part A. Uh, part B, the differential current carried by that loop is sigma V uh, d omega, where sigma is the charge density of the sphere, V is the tangential speed of the loop, and dW is capital R d theta. So this is basically dW, okay, not omega. Uh, dW equals R d theta is its differential width. Express di in terms of sigma r, omega, theta, and d theta. Now, <clears throat> we are given that the current carried by this loop is sigma v dw and v the tangential speed is the angular speed omega multiplied by the radius capital r sine theta and dw is capital r d theta so capital r d theta is basically uh, if you vary this angle by an amount d theta, it's basically this uh, arc length here, capital R d theta. So that's going to be uh, this arc length uh, when we vary the angle by an amount d theta. Okay, so then di can be written as uh, sigma... Uh, v is omega r sine theta, dw is capital R d theta, so it's capital R square d theta now. So that's the current di written in terms of uh, omega r theta and sigma. So we have expressed di in terms of sigma r omega theta and d theta. Part C, the differential magnetic moment of the loop is A di, where A is the area enclosed by the loop. Express d mu in terms of capital R omega theta and d theta. Okay, so the magnetic moment of this loop is d mu, which is its area multiplied by the current it carries di. What is the area of the loop? It is pi capital R sine theta parentheses squared. So it's pi R squared, radius squared, multiplied by di. So we can write d mu equals pi capital R squared sine squared theta. And for di, we have sigma omega capital R squared sine theta d theta. Now we can see that d mu is pi. We have 2 R squared, so it's capital R to the fourth power. 
uh, and we have a sine square theta and sine theta so it's going to be sine cube theta and then we have sigma omega d theta that's our magnetic moment of the loop let's move on to part d integrate over the sphere to determine the magnetic moment express your result as a vector use the total charge q rather than the charge density sigma okay now the total magnetic moment mu will be the integral over the spherical shell of d mu now for d mu i have pi capital r to the fourth power constants sigma is a constant angular speed omega is a constant i'm integrating over this angle theta if theta varies between zero and pi i will have covered all of these uh, circles circular loops so this is going to be integral from zero to pi sine cube theta d theta so let's concentrate on this integral this is equal to pi capital r to the fourth power what is sigma the total charge q divided by the surface area of this spherical shell 4 pi capital r square and then i have omega here after sigma i have omega and then i have to integrate this from 0 to pi sine cube theta can be written as sine theta multiplied by sine square which is 1 minus cosine square theta d theta uh, so the total magnetic moment will be q omega capital r squared because this r squared will make this r to fourth power r squared q omega capital r squared and we also have a cancellation of these pi's here so there is no more pi left so q omega r squared divided by 4 now we have the integral from 0 to pi sine theta d theta and then we have another integral minus 0 to pi sine theta cosine square theta d theta all right and this is q omega capital r squared divided by 4 integral of sine theta is minus cosine theta so minus cosine theta will be evaluated between 0 and pi and then we have integral of sine theta cosine square theta d, d, d theta with a minus sign that is plus cosine cube theta over 3 you see when you take the derivative you get 3 cosine square theta 3's cancel and the derivative of cosine is minus sine so we, we obtain the minus sign and this is to be evaluated between 0 and pi all right now if we do the calculation we obtain mu is equal to q omega capital r square divided by 4 now let's see the uh, answers for this integral minus cosine pi cosine pi is minus 1 minus cosine pi is plus 1 so first we obtain a plus 1 and then we have minus minus becomes a plus cosine theta plus cosine 0 that is 1 so this is plus 1 
And then we have cosine cube theta. Cosine theta is min cosine pi is minus one. So uh, its cube is minus one again, minus one over three. So here we have a minus one over three. And then minus cosine zero is one. So this is going to give us another minus one over three. Therefore, we find Q omega capital R square divided by four, two minus two over three, that is Q omega capital R squared divided by three, because we will obtain here six minus two, four, fours will cancel, and we have three left. And what is the direction of this magnetic moment? Well, if it is rotating like this, carrying a positive current, so the current will be flowing in this direction. Using the right hand rule, we curl our uh, fingers in the direction of the current, the thumb points upward. So that's the direction of the current, the magnetic moment points upward. So it's in k hat direction. So direction is found by right hand rule and tells us that the total magnetic moment is Q omega capital R squared over 3 in K hat direction. Okay, let's move on to part E. If the sphere is in a uniform magnetic field, sine alpha i hat plus cosine alpha j hat times b, what is the torque on the sphere? Well, if you place a magnetic moment in a magnetic field, the torque it feels is mu cross product with the magnetic field. So this is going to be Q omega capital R squared over 3 k hat cross product with b sine alpha i hat plus cosine alpha j hat. Um, what is k hat cross i hat? So we have to find out uh, I, um, i hat cross j hat is k hat j hat cross k hat is i hat and uh, so what about k hat cross i hat k hat cross i hat is j hat so these are cyclic permutations i hat j hat k hat that's the positive direction here so we see that k hat cross i hat is j hat so we're going to obtain for the torque B Q Omega capital R squared over three sine alpha K hat cross I hat is J hat. What is K hat cross J hat? Because J hat cross K hat is I hat, that's going to be minus I hat. So this is minus cosine alpha I hat. That's the total torque. Now, I want to understand where this uh, di formula came from. So let's take a look at that. So what is dq when you have charges residing on this uh, circle? dq is basically, um, you can see here, I have uh, r sine theta d phi, r d theta. Uh, that's, that's the other side of it. Uh, so that's basically the area that is spent by this uh, circular region. So when I change the angle by an amount d theta. So this is the area I encounter on the spherical shell. So that dq I'm talking about is capital R sine theta d phi multiplied by R d theta sigma. What is dq dt? 
dq dt is the current. So capital R sine theta d phi dt multiplied by sigma r d theta and that is sigma capital R sine theta d phi dt is basically the angular speed multiplied by the radius that's the tangential speed sigma b r d theta so I reach at this conclusion and uh, that's basically di which is sigma b d omega where d omega was defined as r d theta in the problem so the area that i see here is capital r square sine theta d theta d phi and d phi dt is my angular speed omega the tangential speed is omega times capital r sine theta for this circular motion of the charges okay so in this problem we have calculated the magnetic moment of a spherical shell first we set up a coordinate system we go to a latitude making a where the radius is making an angle theta uh, with respect to the z-axis and we can see that the radius of that circle, uh, circular region will be a uh, circular current loop will be a capital R sine theta from this uh, right triangle. If it carries a current di sigma v d omega where d omega is r d theta, v the tangential speed for the circular motion is the angular speed multiplied by the radius omega times r sine theta so that gives me the di value the d mu the magnetic moment of this uh, circular loop is its area multiplied by di what is its area the area is pi r squared which is pi capital r sine theta squared multiplied by di when i integrate this from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi, I cover all such circular loops. I obtain uh, my final answer uh, when I evaluate this integral. And then I note that if the current flows in this direction using the right-hand rule, the magnetic moment should be in k-hat direction. When I place it in a magnetic field, mu cross b gives me the torque acting on it. So I just take the cross product and this gives me the final torque. And I also finally noted that if you consider an area that is basically spanned by these circular loops, when I vary the angle by, by a small amount d theta, r sine theta d phi times r d theta is the area. And that area multiplied by sigma gives me, so this is sigma times dA, gives me the charge. And the... Uh, uh, rate of flow of the charge dq dt is basically the current di which we have seen to be equal to sigma v r d theta